Welcome back to Legacy of Leaders. I'm your co-host, Susie Becker, here with Alex Kellison. Hey, Susie. And today, we're speaking with Lisa Almeida and Brian Collins. Lisa, you're from Freedom Boat Club. Yes. Talk to me a little bit about how someone who starts with four boats now has a fleet that can rent out over a hundred. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. It's, uh, I, I like to say it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. You know, <laughs> easy peasy. You join as a member and as a member you show up at the dock, our boat's ready to go and you go out and have a great time. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a long journey, starting with you know four boats to now, but it's just been so much fun and so amazing. Started with one location and now we have four locally. And you're at more than 15 years in business, correct? Yes, I am, yes. So in the very beginning, um, in 2009, you know, the economy wasn't so great mm. and uh, I just literally had to pull out all the stops. One of the big things is that I've been a boater my whole life and I loved boating. So I, you know, I was a member of the Southside Businessmen's Club. I joined the chamber. Mm. I did silent auctions. We did, uh, once a month, we did open houses with free boat rides and, you know, anything and, and, and everything, you know, to get your name out there. Sounds like a hustle. Yeah, yeah. it was a hustle. Well, but... let's talk to another <laughs> yes. hustler, yes. Brian Collins <laughs> from Dry Pocket Apparel. Yes. You're at the beginning end of your business. So talk to us a little bit about how you and Lisa have something in common. Yes. Yeah, so uh, speaking of hustling, everything I've had to do, I've learned off of YouTube videos. So uh, the websites, the marketing, everything, I've spent hours just watching YouTube videos, right. and then we had to build it ourselves. Wow. We as in, it just so happened to me. But <clears throat> so we've grown drastically since then. We started in 2021, so we're still a small startup company going in the right direction. We've um, grown into multiple products, including this, the world's first automatic self-sealing double lock floating cooler. So, which goes great with boats. It's awesome. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That looks and the like pants, a great the pants right. are, are exciting too with the pocket. <clears throat> yes, ma'am, yeah. So we have the world, or United States first swim shorts, world's first fishing shorts and fishing pants with a waterproof pocket tested up to 100 feet. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a great free gift with purchase for our Freedom Boat Club member. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 You, would, you would not believe how many phones we give as gifts to the sea, believe me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. So going back to the beginning in 2009, right, you had to find a niche market. And yes. you took your passion, your love yes. for what you already were doing as a hobby. And you translated that into what a community can grow into as an experience. Yes. Exactly. So I think one of the things, like if I was going to give, uh, you know, something to your listeners, what I would say is uh, everything doesn't have to be about making money or, be, you know, getting profitable, you know. And so I would partner with people. We did free boat rides. We would do things with charities. And, you know, it was such a win-win. So like we did Dreams Come True. We had the kids come and we did free boat rides. We christened a boat, Dreams Come True, and they got to wow. do it we did um big brothers big sisters and then we had them spell their na their bodies with freedom and we videotaped it and so and then we would get our members involved so they would drive the boats and then the kids would get on the boat and then they would talk about it with their audience i think a lot of times when i'm talking to people about marketing their business it's all about like well I, that's going to cost me money yeah or that's ad gonna, spend right or, yeah but the thing of it is it it all comes back and that's what you have to remember. You know, uh, if, you, if you give, it'll come back. You can have anything you want if you help somebody else get what they want. Yeah. So let me so, ask you, Brian, do you yeah. find that to be the truth? Since you're we an entrepreneur? Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. Talk yeah. to me about this. How did this organic exchange even happen? Yeah, well, I mean, I agree 100%. I mean, I'm a big believer you put good things out, good things come back. Yes. Yep. I'm also a big believer is you've got to be willing to get dirty to achieve those things. Yes. So, mm -hmm. like, for an example with mine, YouTube. I had to do it all myself. Mm. We did not have the capital funds to hire it all out at the beginning. Right. I had to learn how to do it all. So I always like to say I'm okay of everything, but I'm not great at anything. <laughs> you know? The capital trains yeah. a master of none. Yeah. That's yeah. okay because any place that there's a deficiency, you can find people to help you. Yes. And mm -hmm. now that you're meeting new people that mm -hmm. are in your similar space, mm -hmm. are you finding that they're able to impart that wisdom? Oh, 100%. I mean, I could not do this on my own. I mean, at the beginning, yes, you have to, but eventually you need to be an open book and learn and evolve. Otherwise, I feel like you're not really making progress. 
Yeah. Well, so. we'd be remiss. I think there's an opportunity. There's a, a new entrepreneur, a relatively new entrepreneur, uh -huh. and a relatively seasoned entrepreneur that's grown a business. Um, Lisa, if you were going to give Brian some advice based on how you've grown your business, yeah, what would what you say I, do I, or I, don't, sir? And you're doing exactly what I tell people to do. You don't know what you don't know. Go research it. Go mm -hmm. ask questions. Mm -hmm. Go learn. So I didn't know anything about YouTube marketing at the time. And there was this thing called YouTube. It was like, like tribe marketing. I joined mm -hmm. the tribe. I listened to the videos. I watched the things I learned. You, I asked questions. Mm -hmm. Just like you and I, we were in the you know, green room waiting to come on and mm -hmm. you started talking. I was like, oh my gosh, I'd love to tell my members about this product. Can we create some kind of win-win thing? And we yeah. did. Collaboration. So, collaboration. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, by the way. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. You're welcome. And um, also I would say is, you know, never give up. There's always a solution. There's mm -hmm. always a way. You just have to keep thinking, keep asking, you know, don't take no for an answer. I mean, Thank God I went to Bell South University. I was trained to take 10 no's. And, um, you know, and I'm like, you know what you know? 10 no's and one yes is? <laughs> yeah. It's a yes. Exactly. <laughs> so keep asking, keep pushing. And if you believe that it's right and in your gut the right thing to do, you just have to find a way to do it. That's awesome. That's, yeah. that's great. That's, it's funny you say that because from 2016 is when I started trying to create this. We didn't sell our, cert, our first pair of shorts till April 2021. Wow. We went through over 17 <laughs> failed prototypes before yes. we finally reached one that works every time. Right. Wow. So. You know, it's funny. My, my daughter's in martial arts training, and she's in a black belt training program. And the mantra they have is, what is a black belt? And the answer is, it's a white belt that never gives up. And I think the analogy <laughs> here is uh, a I successful entrepreneur is just an entrepreneur that never gives up. And you have to be willing to do something that not everybody else is willing to do. That's right. what's going to set you apart. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And listen to people you know a lot of times people call and ask me and i tell them and then they don't do it it's mm -hmm. like well, why did you ask me for the advice i've proven that these uh -huh. things can work yeah. you know yeah. so be open-minded and realize that you don't have all the answers even now i don't have all the answers i'm willing to listen to you and say oh you know can i take that can i tweak it can i change it a little bit you know Absolutely. so to wrap it up i'm hearing that Growth mindset, you don't know what you don't know, yeah. and a lot more question marks than exclamation points. Does that sound accurate? 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. Thank you so much, Lisa and Brian, for <laughs> being so with welcome. us today. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yep, thanks, Lisa and Brian, and thanks for joining us on Legacy of Leaders. If you'd like to learn more about Lisa or Brian in the Freedom Boat Club or the Dry Pocket Apparel, visit iwantabuzz.com. Thanks, everyone.